Money, power, and respect. Well, guys, it is your penultimate episode of Par Book Season 2, Episode 9. We begin the episode with the burial of the parole officer. We've got Diamond and Tommy. They've taken care of it. But they're talking who the snitch could be. Tommy thinks it's Gennard. Well, Diamond thinks it could be Fick. Well, Diamond has got it right here. But Tommy says, no, it can't be Fick. He dropped the cop right in front of me. And plus, he killed his pops. Why would he be a snitch, damn it? Why would he be a snitch? But yeah, the, the place, Stacey, she's corrupt. Well, she's not kind of corrupt, but she wants to bring Tommy down by any means necessary, but then she decides to go legit. But there's a new cartel in boss employee here, Marquez, the Marquez cartel. Scooby Doo. He meets with um the big man, Markovic, and then he, he kind of takes a liking to Claudia. It kind of looks like you know, the Hispanic Justin Bieber, this guy. Hopefully, for his sake, P. Diddy didn't get anywhere near him, and hopefully, he'll be all right. But, uh, not too sure. They say the least of that's going to go down, so yeah, there's a lot of speculation going down. do, everyone's discussing retaliation, right? This is what we're going to do. Ah, yada, yada, yada. Yada. Switch up the burners. Everyone's not too happy about the burner talk. You know, but Jannard's like, my bitch is going to think we're getting a different, you know, she's on the whole phone. It's like, hold on here. Gennard. What I don't get about that is like you're with the boxing girl, Shanti. She's like in this. She knows you have to switch up the phones. So it doesn't really make any sense. Like what was her fucking and, and Tommy knows about that. Anyway. Anyway, just I'm 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 kinda confused about what is going on there in that regard. It is what it is. I guess we move on. From this situation, but yeah, they've got a warrant to bug Tommy Egan's apartment and they're going to use Fick for that. Will that go down? I'm not too sure. Diamond apologizes to Leon's ma. She answers the door, but then the dad appears and he's like, You won't be bothering us for too long. And he's like, What the fuck do you mean by that? Then the door closes. Um, Gennard then hand delivers this guy later in the episode to Diamond, and Diamond just drowns him. He's like, You you told your son he couldn't be anything, you didn't love him, you didn't fucking love him kills him so yeah uh, Miguel then meets with Diamond Diimond and him are talking he's like ah maybe CBI and us could come together and we could uh, kick Tommy out because I don't see too much of a of a future for him which I thought was uh, definitely kind of funny definitely kind of funny uh, but then as they're leaving an explosion happens holy Frickin' moly, Abuela, the grandmother, Miguel's granny, his gran, is dead, blows up. It was a car bomb meant for Miguel, and it turns out his right-hand man, Angel Rosario Jr., that is the actor. He was in Mayans, he was in Tulsa King, He was. he's in this. What does this guy not do, man? He seems like he's in every show these days. Guy's just in a hell of a lot. I am G-Mac. Um, big man, JP, gets a phone call, turns out D-Max actually left the, the accommodation, that's not good. Gennard do, isn't too keen on him and Sha his and Shanty's plan that involves getting rid of Diamond, and they wonder, it's his brother. Fick and Tommy then decide to kidnap this guy, torture him for information, but at this time of the game, what happens guys? I'll tell you what's happening, they're going to attack Markovic, so we're going to make a phone call for that. We did have prior to this, um, the grandmother's funeral. Didn't exactly do much for me, this diamond also is getting it heavy because his pro officer went missing and Gennard essentially gives him an alibi. Gennard has been backing up diamond something chronic in the last couple of episodes, which is um, good to see JP apologises to his son, D-Mac, I'm sorry. And then he kind of like accepts Kate's apology as well. Um, but yeah, then the hit from Miguel... On Markovic goes sl sloppy. It goes sideways because, of course, this shitstorm was put in motion um, by Nunez ringing on behalf of Tommy. Tommy told him to ring. But then it's like Tommy decides to hand deliver this guy to Shay and Miguel. Like, well, what if they took the mouthpiece off and this guy's like, I, Tommy, Tommy told me to, to, to warn Markovic that you'd be attacking. So, yeah. Mental Markovic and like three of his guys managed to escape the ambush. A lot of the Serbs die, but here it looks like the war, the beef is still alive. The beef is still going. So the Serbs live to fight another day. But in order to get in bed with the Marquez cartel, 
Claudia will have to put a lot of money in and her, her, her new girlfriend does it. And I, I, I just don't get this relationship, right? She's an ugly cunt. I'm sorry. Whoa, that may, that may sound too extreme here. But that's what's happened. You know, I, I can't spin it. I, I can't change it. I don't like it. I don't like it, bro. You gotta believe me. I, I, I just don't. I actually do not grasp why she's in this lesbian relationship with her. You know, quite an, quite an ugly woman, to say the least. Um, do not get it in the slightest. But anyway, I guess I digress. And then we get towards the end of this episode. Tommy, oh. He thinks there's a freaking rat. He finds out for the lawyer there's a rat. Kill him all, kill him all. Gennard and Diamond, though, they look stronger than ever at this point. And it turns out this one phone number has been ringing off the charts with the feds. And he knew this is how he was going to be able to track them down. And who is it? None other than Fick Flynn. He follows Fick. He sees him talking to Stacy, of course, head of the of, uh, FBI. So yeah, is Tommy going to kill Fick? Probably. And it, it's just weird to think, right, that this show, probably after the next episode, the entire Flynn family are going to be wiped out pretty much for Chicago. And it's like, when this show started in season one, episode one, the Flynn's were the top dogs and I don't like the direction they've took with the Flynn's. Tommy Flanagan, great character, I get it. Great actor, sorry. Great character in Walter Flynn. He's old. It makes sense to have these, like, end of an era, like, you know, pass it down to the children sort of thing, but I think the handling of that has been nothing short of a fucking disaster. The whole, like, ties to Dublin and all that stuff. Oh, Big Red, Booger Red, and, oh, the Four Horsemen. Like, wh where did that ever go? So... Will Tommy kill Fick? I think he will. I think he will. I think he'll trade his vengeance that he wanted to hand it to Claudia and he'll end up killing Fick anyway. Uh, I don't think he's going to be killing both sets of uh, Flynn siblings. And again, like, Walter's legacy as children. I think, that, I think they've done the Flynn's so dirty in this TV show. Anyway, guys, is what it is. I'll give this episode a 6 out of 10. Sorry, folks, it's just season two of four, so it's not really lived up to season one anywhere near, in my opinion. But anyway, till next time, peace.